Okay, let's introduce the functions one by one. The first function is on and off button. Well, this button is at the left button side. Okay, here's the on and off button. Yes, it is used to turn on. Turn on, now I turn it on. Yes, or turn off the equipment. Press it again and it's yes. off now. And when it is turned on, the backlight of the display screen will be on. Yes, yeah, like this. and it will be off if there is no operation within 30 seconds. Mm -hmm, okay. And when the backlight is off under the power on state, press any button and it will be on again. And press on and off button for more than six seconds to, six seconds. Yes, to lock the screen. Yes. Okay, now I press it for 6 seconds and it's locked. We see an, a, a lock icon here. Yes, and press it again for more than 6 seconds to unlock it. Well, do not operate under the lock state. Okay, now it's unlocked now. Yes, and when the equipment is off, the display screen will go out. Okay, Cici, I see it writes RA here yes. on the screen. What to do if I want to see the OA value? Well, here we will introduce you how to switch the mode. Firstly, okay. let's press mode button. Okay, yes. press the mode button here. Yes, to display, uh, to uh, switch to display the detected items. The default interface is starting up. Well, we can say it's OA at the beginning. And we press, uh, pressing lightly the mode button again. The users can choose or switch to the state of other detected items. The sequence is RA. RA. Oh, yes. Just, just now it shows RA. Yes. And I press it and it okay. shows OA here. Yes, and OA yeah, and, and then FR. FR means EA. FR here. Yes, and then SA. SA. And then setting. Yes. Setting. Here's the setting. Setting temperatures. Yes. yes. Setting the temperature for uh, supply air. But this on this function just available when the unit connected with the electric heater. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. I see. And then once again, the CO2 sensor. CO2 sensor. Yes. One more time. Humidity, Humidity sensor. Humidity. Yes. And then timer on and off mode. Here. Here's the timer setting mode. Yes. And then the sleep mode. Sleep now mode. it's a sleep mode. Yeah, I yes. see here it shows a moon and star icon. Yes. So we come to the sleeping mode. Yes. Well, okay. these uh, settings we will be switched in a uh, cycle. Ah, okay. Yes, I see. Okay, okay, thank you. So next part, let's come to the setting time uh, function. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, first, let's come to the uh, let's press the mode button to switch to the time setting phase timer setting phase here's the timer setting interface and i press long press set button Here we see the hour flashes, and we press the up and back down, uh, up and down button to set the actual time. Now, yes. for example, now it's uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, three p.m. So we press the up button. It's fifteen, yes. and press the set so it comes to the mini setting. Uh, Example. Now it's zero. Okay. Press set again to confirm the setting. And here we come to the week setting. Now it's Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Press set again to confirm. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe mode. <laughs> Sorry, mode. Okay, now we finish the time setting. Okay, it is very easy to handle. Our black cool controller supports weekly uh, time setting, right? Yes. Can you show us how to set it? Yes, sure. Uh, you know, 
if we want to when the fan run at a certain speed in a certain time then we can use our we click timer function mm -hmm. our system supports four periods one day seven days per week mm -hmm. so under every period user can set a fan speak then the ventilator enter the very time period it will automatically change to the fan speak according to setting okay so now, now here shows the timer setting yes is oh, now okay. is in the time setting interface we can show uh, now shop press the set button mm -hmm. here we can see one two three this shows four periods one day okay now it shows uh, the setting is for Monday and if we, if we press the up button it will change to Tuesday Wednesday Thursday like okay. this and Press set again. Now is changed to uh, hour hour setting. Six, seven, eight p a.m. Right? Yes, a.m. Mm -hmm. And press set to change to the minute setting. Okay, so these settings are for uh, the ERV running time yeah. setting, right? Yes, if yes. If we set it with a uh, uh, nine o'clock at the morning then mm -hmm. the units will be uh, turned on automatically at the nine o'clock yes. at uh, Tuesday or uh, Thursday right okay uh, at Thursday yes. okay got it thank you thanks for the clear show Rita okay uh, next part uh, I would like to show the fan speed setting uh, we can set the fan speed in manual mode and uh, automatic mode uh, for example, the fan speed setting uh, with the manual mode under the supply air or exhaust air temperature interface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's press mode again. Yes, under supply, supply, supply air. Here? Yes. yes. And press the arrow key of up and down. Up and down. Oh, here. Down, yes. Okay. So um, the speed of exhaust air or the supply air uh, can be set it in the same way. For example, I mean the uh, FR. FR. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's similar, FR, right? Yeah, yes. yes. Now we come to the exhaust mm -hmm. air setting interface. Yes, normally there are three speeds for the uh, air uh, AC controller. I mean mm -hmm. the units equipped with the AC model. Yes. Well, for the DC controller, uh, there are 10 speeds available. Yes, mm -hmm. like this unit, it has maximum 10 speed. Yes. Yes, it's with DC controller. Mm -hmm. CC, uh, I think some clients may want a negative or positive air pressure. How to set it? Well, if we set the supply fan at low speed and set the exhaust fan at high speed, there will be a slight negative air pressure in the room, right? Yes. And on the contrary, if we set the supply fan at high speed and set the exhaust fan at low speed, so there will be a slight positive air pressure in the room. Ah, I see, see, see. So, um if we set the different air speed for the uh, supply air and exhaust air, yes. then it will come with the uh, negative or positive pressure. Yes, yes, sure. Cici, uh, uh, is there a function which can remind clients to change the filters? Yes, sure. We have filter alarm function for the ERB unit. So we can set how long we expect to use the filters. So when running time of ventilator is over the setting filter alarm time, the filter alarm symbol will be flashes on the panel at the uh, left left side, this, this period, yes, this arrow. And uh, um, then uh, when running time of ventilator is over the setting filter alarm time, the symbol will flashes and remind our end user to clean or replace the air filters. Yes, it's very uh, smart. Can you show how to set it, CC? Yes, sure. Before showing this, I think I prefer to show you what's our parameter and how to set it, okay? Yes. Well, the parameter means the code for setting different functions. It is in the right middle part of our control panel. 
and the parameter value to decide how to control the ventilator. Yes, it shows at the right up part. Like yes. Rita uh, setting long press the mode button for more than six seconds, right? Yes, on the screen you can see in the right middle mm -hmm. part of our control panel, it writes one. Yes, number one. Yeah, this this this, this means the sorry the setting the of power to auto restart, right? Yes. This this is the parameter number. It writes one. This one means the the function to auto power to auto restart. Yes, and this button. at the right button one. This this is the parameter value. Now it writes one. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, under this setting period, uh, parameter one and parameter value one. It means that the power to auto restart function is active. Okay, so this is very sweet design. So power to auto restart means when the electricity is cut off suddenly, the ERV will stop working. Mm -hmm. And after the power is back on, the ERV will restart automatically and run at the previous modes. So, right? Yes. This so function this function can avoid wasting the time on resetting the ERV. Yes, it's really sweet design. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rita, we would like to go further with the filter alarm setting. Uh, you know, we have a parameter 18, right? Yes. yes. Let's okay. go into Let's the... Let's go to the parameter 18 first. Press the long, mode button. Long press the mode button. Okay. Yes, now we see the parameter 1. And we press set to 2, 3, and until parameter 18. Slowly. Okay. okay, 18. So we have four uh, parameter value available, right? Yes. For example, the see. 45. Now it's 45. Yes. And we press up and down. Up is 16. 60, 60 days. 60, 60 days, right? Yes. Okay. And next, 90, 90 days. days. and 180 days. Yes. So okay. there are four, four choices. And then if I want to set the filter alarm every 19 days, so I will need to set parameter 18 with the value uh, 19 days, yes. right? It's very yes. easy. Like 19, yeah. Okay. So uh, under this setting, after the ventilator runs over 90 days, the filter alarm system will remind us or our customers to change the filters, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Then after filters being cleaned or replaced, we need to sweep the filter alarm by setting parameter number seven, right? I remember. Yes. Set it. <laughs> One more time. Long yes. press the mode button for six seconds. Yes. Let's find the and set seven. and press short press the set button to come to parameter seven. 17. seventeen. Okay, seventeen now. Okay. Find and the value one. Yes, we need to change it to value one. Press the up button. Oh, yes, okay. Now. Then the time will be recount, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm clear now. It's very sweet design. You know, I always forget the time, so it's great if the ventilator could remind me of something. Next part, let's introduce the, the bypass function. Okay. Cici, do you know what's bypass function? Yes, sure. Sometimes when the outdoor air is more comfortable than the indoor air, we need to get the fresh air quickly without heat exchange. Then the bypass function is very useful at this moment. Ah, okay, yes. I see. And for this purpose, our intelligent controller has prepared the auto bypass function. So when the outdoor air is within setting value, the mm -hmm. bypass damper will open automatically and then fresh air will enter directly. And um, I see, I think when the bypass is on, the triangle bypass symbol on the screen will appear. And yes, when at this period, this, uh, this arrow, sorry. Ah, when bypass is off, the symbols disappear. Yes. Compared with the standard controller, the bypass on and off for intelligent controller is automatically by the setting. Yes. We can set it on the con controller, and when the temperature reach the setting, mm -hmm. and the bypass will automatically open. Yes, yes, for sure. We have more functions, right? Yes. 
and uh, uh, here uh, all of our controllers are with Modbus protocol. Ah, Modbus. Yes, I mean the RS four A five connector is available for the building management system control. It is very useful for the project. Yes, I agree. For projects, it's always convenient to control all the ERVs by uh, all together. Yes, and in order to improve the indoor air quality, the CO two must be controlled. Our advanced intelligent controller is good at CO two control. But do we have the CO two control functions for this uh, black cool uh, controller? Yes, of course. Now let's introduce the CO two control function. Okay. For projects, it's convenient to control all the ERVs together. See, see. In order to improve the indoor air quality, the CO two value must be controlled.、Mm -hmm. Our advanced intelligent controller is good at CO two control. Do we have the CO two control function for this black cool intelligent controller? Yes. So、uh, let's introduce the CO two control functions. Okay.、Uh, could you please take a here's、sensor? the our. CO two sensor. Yes, this is the sensors for this、uh, interlock with the black cool controller. Yes. Yes, the color is black too. The CO two symbol appear、uh, when the CO two sensor is connected. I think we already show at the beginning of、yes. the video, right? Yes. And、uh, press the mode button for six seconds. Yeah, like entering the setting, find the code eleven, and it is for the setting of CO two value. So if we set it at eighty.、Uh, It, It means eight hundred ppm, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Then, if indoor CO two value is higher than eight hundred ppm, ppm, the ERV will run at highest speed.、Mm -hmm. When the CO two con concentration is lower than eight hundred ppm, the ERV will get back to the previous、uh, speed. Will get back to the previous mode and run at previous、mm -hmm. speed. This will help us to monitor the indoor air quality and reduce the CO two as soon as possible. Yes. Let's introduce about the humidity co、uh, control function. Yes, sure. Uh, actually, uh, I think it's the same logic for the humidity control.、Uh, please, could you take a humidity sensor? Yes. Yes. Here's our humidity sensor. Yes, this is the humidity sensor. Yes, it's same for our advanced intelligent controller and this black cool、mm -hmm. controller. Yes, the humidity symbol will appear、uh, on the panel when this、uh, sensor is connected.、Uh, so the ERV units will run at highest speed when the humidity、uh, concentration is higher than the setting value. Okay. Yes, under the humidity control mode,、uh, our our end users can set the humidity concentration by pressing up the、uh, by pressing just the up and the down button, and the setting ranges from fifty percent to hundred percent. Ah, fifty、mm -hmm. to one hundred. Yes. Okay.